Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a cash stuffing and show you guys all of these challenges that I've been working on. I do have a lot more that are going to be launched in my Etsy shop, but for now, let's go over all these mini savings challenges and go over when they're going to be in my shop and how much they will cost and will they be on a flash sale. So let's go over the cash first. Um, but if you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I'm 34 years old. I live in Oregon. I am an all cash budgeter. Um, I do a lot of low income savings challenges. I create a lot of low income savings challenges. Um, I didn't think that I was going to be an Etsy store owner, but I'm excited that I tried it out and that it's working for me for now. Um, because of you guys, I am able to stuff sinking funds um, this week. And if you like cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all in a low income, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. I would like to grow this channel. Um, so this is $100. This is the $100 that we made for this last week, week three of April. I know my fingers are kind of bendy. I have arthritis. Um, but week three is $100, which is a lot better than I thought. Um, I didn't post flash sales like I did before. And maybe that's why no one saw them. But I do have a bunch of different challenges in my shop. Um, and these are going to be the ones that are in a flash sale. So... Remember when I said that I wanted to create things that I would like to do that I found would be fun and exciting? Um, well, I started a sometime in May savings challenge, mini savings challenge binder. Um, we'll go over that towards the end of me showing you this because I cannot sell some of these items in my shop because it is what it is. There's copyright and everything else. So I created some challenges for me and a bunch for you guys. I'm going to do some of these as well because I really, really like them, um, but it's just going to take time. So this is the vintage challenge that I wanted to make. I love vintage everything. Um, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 40s, 20s, whatever that may be. Um, I really like the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s. Um, so that that's kind of my era. I used to actually um, collect things from yard sales from those times. So this is a challenge that I thought was really cute. Um, I'm going to be um, doing one of these um, in my binder with my mini savings challenges to start things off. Um, but I thought that they're all really cute. Uh, they're very low. This is what I was asked for by a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook. Um, low challenges that are quick and easy. Um, so that's what these are. And then we have some holiday ones that are mixed in here. So this is 4th of July. Um, these are for three different ch challenges. There's one for $2 a piece. So each one of these fireworks are $2. And then this one is a mystery. I didn't want to put the amount. Um, I would do this closer to um, the end of uh, June. So that way I could get my barbecue stuff for my 4th of July barbecue because it's all we really do. We don't do fireworks very often. And then this one down here is $5 for each star. And then we have the, um, and I'm sorry if the lighting's a little off. The sun's kind of going down in my area. Um, but I have a Thanksgiving challenge. I was most requested for these, um, which I thought was kind of funny because I thought it would be Christmas. I do have some Christmas ones coming out, but I'm not going to be releasing them yet because they're still a work in progress. Um, Happy Thanksgiving. You get to pick how much each turkey is. Um, pumpkin spice and everything nice. That's another $2 challenge. So each holiday, I'm going to try to do a $1 to $2 challenge. Um, and then the uh, bring the dessert um, is the little pies that we have. So... 
And then this is going to be um, another one that's in my shop. This is just a bunch of cute food challenges. I love the coffee pot. Definitely going to be doing that one. Um, and then we have these three here, which I thought would be fun for family fun, like karaoke party, let's dance, um, uh, skate and save. Yet again, another $2 one. And then this is another one that was requested because we have a lot of people with eighth grade graduation, high school graduation, and um, people wanting a starter fund for college. This doesn't mean you're funding the whole thing. It just means that there's a starter fund. Um, maybe you make each one of these a higher increment. If I was to do this down the road, I'd probably make each one of these 20 to $30, possibly 50 So that way my one of my kids during that time would have enough money to go off to college with. Uh, graduation gift and then class of and then I just left, you know, 2020 and then whatever um, your uh, child, grandchild, niece, nephew, um, friend, family member, um, it's going to graduate. And then we also have the um, Halloween ones. And mind you, all these holiday ones are just starters. So trick or treat roll is going to be similar to the bowl and roll where you're going to roll a single dice, put the number in here, um, and in, in the box, and then you're going to save that amount, put it in the envelope, and then we have a $30, and whatever each one of these candies is going to cost, um, that will be that one. And then this one is still for like summery spring. Um, I have a thing for bees. I have a bee tattoo. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I have a bee tattoo. Um, and this is just simple, easy, $90. Um, this one um, is a mystery as well. Um, and then the $2 savings challenge. And then this is the one that I'm not sure about. I don't know about brands and branding and all this stuff. I just know Disney is out. Um, so this one I'm not sure about. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be posting all of these for sale tomorrow. They're going to be up um, by, I would say, probably 8 a.m. Standard Pacific Time. I'm not posting them tonight because I have a lot of things I have to do tonight. So tomorrow they will all be in my shop for $1.50 a piece. Um, I thought that this was just cute because, you know, to be honest with you, you can save for for whatever um, is in your cart. So total in your cart. Um, you know, same with Costco. We, we all do bulk shopping at, you know, stores or most of us do. Um, and then Target. Target's another big store. Um, I don't do Walmart stuff. I'm just letting you all know that now. I'm not a Walmart fan. Don't shop at Walmart. Um, don't like Walmart very much. Uh, my husband does the online thing every now and again. Um, but there's that. And then this is going to be the mini savings challenge binder that I'm working on. Um, this is a clear binder I received as an Amazon wish list uh, gift. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to uh, re put up a small Amazon wish list. If you don't, that's cool. I'm fine with that. I know I had two people message me about it the other day, like what happened to your wish list. I took it down. Um, why? I just, I just did. Um, winter fund. This is a cute Mickey mini challenge, um, that I created. And then I know some of these are really dirty envelopes, but that's okay. Um, car maintenance challenge is another one. And then Christmas. So this is another one that I am going to be doing. None of these, uh, Disney ones will be for sale. Um, this one is in my shop. It's a trio of different pet savings uh, challenges. And um, this is going to be for my pet sinking fund. And then I have this cute Spider-Man one. This is also not in my shop. Um, this 
um, is something that I'm going to be leaving blank because I'm not sure how much I'm going to delegate for each one of these little spider guys. Um, I also don't know what I'm going to put this challenge towards. I like to have a few challenges where I don't know where they're going. That way it feels a little bit more exciting. Mother Day Mother's Day is the one I was said I was going to start. Um, so hopefully I can get this one done. Um, I'm going to try to get my nails done. Um, because I did find out through the temp program I'm in that I can have fake nails. Um, and then uh, movie time. This is for um, my kids and myself, my husband, going to the movies. So this is going to be 36 bucks. It costs us around $10 a piece to go to the movies. So we might have to do that twice. Um, and then at the pool, this is for... Um, when my kids come to do their, their visit and we go to the pool, um, the pool ended up being $9 for all of us to go. So this will be great because we could do it a couple of times. And then my husband asked me to make a gaming challenge um, so that way he can start help stuffing this as well. So by the way, all of our money is together, but he just feels like he needs to go make some extra money so he can do his own gaming game money. So there's that. And then we will be adding another one into this binder because I do have one more envelope left. So I'll leave that a mystery. And then let's get on to the cash stuffing of the $100. So we're going to be doing, so the only savings challenges that I have right now, you guys, are the two jar challenges. So the jar challenge for our home, future home, and then the emergency fund. So those we're going to be setting aside. Let's stuff our main ones here. I forgot to stuff this one this last time. So we're going to be leaving our low priority, one of our low priorities, um, out in the open. Let's put it over here. Ooh, that way I know that that needs to be stuffed. So we have $100 here and that's exciting. And I'm going to put them in each slot. That way it looks a little bit fancier. So emergency and we have our, we have our checkoff list here. And this may change a little bit because I already stuffed a bunch of money into emergency. So emergency is going to get 10, but we need to break some of this money up. So let's go ahead and um, take a 20. So that 20, and then we're going to do 5, 10, 15, 20. We're going to slip this in here to break this money up. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Things are getting jumbled. All right, so according to this, we had $411. We're gonna add 10 into this. Let's find the fives, there we go. All right, so now this should have 100, 200, and then 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 makes three. And then 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. 421 dollars into this challenge. And like usual, I'm going to be updating the trackers off camera. And that's okay. Alright. But that's exciting. That one really, really built fast when I broke that jar open, I will say. All right, winter fund is going to get 10 as well, which I'm going to take a 20. <clears throat> a 20, and I'm going to take out a 10. I'm put that over there. And now we have... 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we had 109, so 119. That's coming along as well. 
taxes. This is to do my taxes, guys. This is not for what I owe on taxes. This is just to bring my taxes to a consultant. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delegate $5 to that. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, and 58 dollars, which is coming along as well. We have till October because we did an extension. Um, next is going to be car maintenance. This is a fund I didn't have before that I took money out to f fund anyway because I do have a newer car. I don't have to do a lot of car maintenance, but I have to do some, which is also going to get a five. And this had 31 in it. So now it should have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And that's also coming along. That now can cover an oil change if we needed to get another one. Uh, Dead Snowball is going to get five. So I am going to swap a, actually, let's do five, 10, 15, 20. Let's swap this out for 20. And I'm going to be putting five into that as well. So now that has 25, we will not be adding anything to any debts until that gets bulked up a little bit more. House savings is going to get three. Let's see if we can do that. Nope, we can't. So we're going to do a five this time. So I'm going to put a five in there. So this time it should be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So $39. Now this isn't going to be buying us a house anytime soon. And why do I have multiple places for house savings? Uh, this in the jar because we're going to bulk it up. We're going to try to save as much as we can. All right. So this binder is going to be put aside because that is finished. And because we are doing savings challenges until sometime next month, I'm going to be adding a little bit more into these binders. So county fair, so this is something my family wants to do, specifically I want to do this. My husband made that pretty clear. He would go, but he's not a very social person and that's okay. Um, so this should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is going to be um, something that we do at the end of summer. It's usually around August, end of August. Um, it usually gets $3. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and put a five in. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars in this fund. And I'm going to put this here and we're going to color in five. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be colored in. And this is not a very good surface. So one, two, three, Four, and five. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. And I'm getting used to my new schedule, you guys. If you work multiple jobs, let me know in the comment below. How do you survive, man? Like, I did it two years ago, three years ago now, almost three years ago, and I'm telling you, I must have had a lot of caffeine because I am tired. Maybe it's because I'm working earlier than I ever have. Um, I had a 5 a.m. shift. Blah. That came too soon. I had to be up at 4. Okay, so back to school is going to get 4, so I'm going to take out a 5, put a 1 over here. 
I'm actually going to break this as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. We'll do that. So now this should have, we already had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh wait, I'm not putting in a five, I'm putting in four, so 11. So that's what we have, it's 11. And this is for back to school shopping. This is for um, all school supplies, school clothes, um, and some school shoes. I do share responsibility of this with um, baby daddies. So I will be contributing um, mostly to school supplies, probably a pair of school shoes and a few sets of clothes each because it is quite expensive. I usually buy underwear and socks too, but that's not exactly a fun purchase. So let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So this can go back in here. I missed stuffing this last time and I feel kind of silly doing that. Um, Halloween's going to get two. Ooh, why is it not coming out? So two in this one. This is going to probably be the easiest one to fund because it's just costings. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I am telling you, you guys, I blew it on Easter. I didn't get any Easter stuff for my oldest and he told me not to. So I didn't. So I told him I'm no longer going to trust his judgment and I'm just going to suggest that I get something anyway. Um, so he's going to get either a costume or a gift card. And if he gets a gift card, it's going to either be to Barnes & Noble or it's going to be um, to get a game of his choice if that's something that he wants. So... There's that. All right. Now we're going to get on to Thanksgiving dinner. This is an important because I do all the cooking. Um, last year I did all the cooking. The year before. Um, I've had between my long-term relationship with my ex and <laughs> my kids and my parents and everything else it's it's been a lot of cooking so this one I'm gonna bulk up a little bit I'm gonna add three oh there's a five so I'm gonna add three into this one I was gonna add two but an extra dollar wouldn't hurt and I'm not coloring any burnt turkeys guys so there's one two and three and I really like these because they're all a dollar I was th I was thinking about selling these but I wasn't sure like tell me what you think in the comments do you like something like this because I feel like this is far out that I can start doing this now or even at the beginning of the year and I could probably get all these done and make fully funded slips and stick it in there um, this is for my husband's 30th birthday He's going to have a dirty 30, whether he wants one or not. And I'm actually going to add, where is he at? Two. So we're going to add in, hmm, let's add a five and let's just add it. Let's just add it. So five will go in there. Whoa, what am I doing? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's getting pink cakes because he said red, so I say pink. How about that? One, two, three, four, and five. The nice thing is, is if you color in one of these trackers and it's, you colored in one too many, it's only a dollar, so...
There's some coloring that I'm just like, dude, that's too intricate for me, man. I'm like wanting to get the colored and done. I want to see it filled up. All right. Uh, Christmas is going to get a chunk. So we're going to switch these out for a 20. So there's going to be 10 of these colored. I need to just mark them because this is a little bit more tedious for me to color. And I'm just going to color them off camera. Let's use this green. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that means that we are more than halfway done with this. So we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ooh, I feel like that's off. Maybe I didn't color. I don't think I colored in the last time. That's what it was. I truly think that's what it was. Because remember you guys, I said I was going to color it in. And I don't think I did or marked it. Okay, so one, or 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So let's make sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Nope, it's right. It's 26. I was wrong. I counted wrong. So it's 26. We had that right. I colored them. I remembered. All right. Next is going to be Christmas dinner. This is another one that I have to cook for. That's okay. I like cooking. I like cooking for people. I like baking. I am definitely a maker of things. I like to be creative. Um, this one is supposed to get $2. So I'm going to take out three and we're going to add a five. So that should be six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. No burnt turkeys here. No burnt turkeys. So this should now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I not put the money in? I don't think I did. We'll just make sure it's ten. All right. It doesn't matter to me as long as there's money in there. I don't care. And then um, my son's birthday, um, I spent a hundred and forty something dollars on my oldest. So I figured it'd be fair if I did another hundred and fifty. However, he didn't want a big fancy party. He had some decorations, but not not a lot. His big thing was his cake cost a lot. I went and got a cheesecake because that's what he wanted. And we're gonna make some purple cakes in here. Let's go ahead and just add these ones. One, two, three, four, and five. So five. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. So let's make sure we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And his birthday isn't until December. The one thing I forgot, you guys, is my anniversary is in November. So we have to add that in here. I know I keep saying it, but we're going to add it in there. All right, so this one is fully stuffed. And then I am going to add the 20 in here with my other money for bills. 
think that's how we're going to do this and my mat keeps moving. That's annoying. All right, so you will see me do a stuffing. I know I'm behind on stuffing for the week uh, three. No, yeah, week three of, of April. So I know I'm behind. I've been really busy. I apologize. The money isn't going anywhere. Bills are staying the same. So we're just going to keep it as it is. Um, I wanted to do these here, but I don't have enough change in denominations to do this challenge right now. Um, I could do an add up thing where I did on the side here where I added stuff up, but no, we're just going to wait. We're going to be patient because I'm going to go return some recycling and we're going to do more with that when I do bring in the recycling. So I recycle bottles, cans. Um, at the end of every week, I have friends, family, and ourselves who, um, you know, contribute to that. So I'll see you in the next one. Remember, do what you can with what you got because that's all you got to work with. Bye!